What did you do today today at a minute or two till two? It is simply a difficult thing to say, yet harder still to do. For she'll beat a tattoo at a quarter to two, a rat a tat 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 and the dragon will come when it hears the drum at a minute or two till two today, a minute or two till two. Hello, Arts and Architecture 10. This is my self portrait, where I will discuss my unique voice and what you just heard or a few lines from Gilbert and Sullivan's The Mikado. Whether this particular performance is art or just entertainment is up to you. I, Robert Watson, was born in Bristol, England in 1994. When I was four years old, I moved from Bristol, England, to Palo Alto, California. And this means that, for me, my voice is a hybrid between the accent of England and the one that I've come to partially adapt in the US. Now, I first experienced theater when I was in the third grade. I was in a performance of James and the Giant Peach as James with my third grade class. I was very excited. And from then on, I was hooked on theater. A year ago, I found something that I wrote in the fifth grade that said that I wanted to be an actor when I grew up. When I was in middle school, I was in every show that I could get into, which was almost all of them. And then I quickly grew to hate, hate, hate theater, thanks to an awful theater teacher in middle school, which is very sad. But then, after I had stopped doing theater completely for over a year. I got to high school, and when I got to high school, I had to fulfill an art requirement. And I couldn't sing, I couldn't paint, or play an instrument to save my life, so I was left with acting. And so I took a class and fell in love with it again, thanks to, this time fortunately, a great professor. Um, by my sophomore year, I had started auditioning for the school's shows, not just taking a class. And immediately after I finished my first role, which was as the second officer in 12th grade, um, I was chosen for the role of the voice of the test in This is a Test by Stephen Gregg. What I loved about the part was that it challenged me to be funny, as funny as I could be, without using my facial expressions or my body at all, in fact. So considering it was only my second show with the school, I was ridiculously excited to have this part. So you can imagine that it was quite a blow for me in several different ways when a fellow cast member told me, you know you only got that part because of your accent, right? And at the time, I think I just laughed it off, but it really hurt. And it hurt enough for me to go to the director and ask him, why did you cast me? And he denied actually that I had only been cast because of my voice, but that doubt stuck with me for the rest of the performances. That doubt, however, didn't stop me from being part of a performance that was made up of a few great actors and techies, and that we turned into something goddamn hilarious. And part of that was thanks to me, and I, I knew it. And more than three years later, 
I am now a theatre major at UCLA. What has started as completing an arts requirement turned into majoring in something that I love and pursuing my dreams. To me, my unique voice is my voice. I am not a singer or a great debater or even a particularly talkative person, but this is the best artist's tool I've got. And I am going to use it.